Hello, and this is my video on how to program the Red Game computer. This big thing behind me. So, well, first of all, in order to program this computer, you need to know how binary works. So here is this wall with how well, binary, basic binary system works. So if a computer needs one, simply one is active. To enter two, the second switch is pressed. Now, this is where it gets confusing. When a computer needs the number three, two, and one, so 1 plus 2 is 3, obviously. If a computer needs 4, this is on, and these are off. This is then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so forth. Now this computer can count to 1,028 or something, because it's 10 bits, so 10 of those switch things. Now, the protocol, which is basically how the computer works, is as follows. The red and the green lines are for the next command. This is for the command, ma the program manager. This is for the command manager. So, firstly, this is the first program to be executed, command to be executed. Uh, basically, it's a go-to system. So, depending on the output of an ALU or a switch, depending on the, on the function performed, it tells which command to do next. So, if you don't want to go, like, conditional branching, which means going to different programs depending on different things, you simply enter the next program in it on both lines. So now running this program, well, after the clock, go to this command. This doesn't affect the program or the commands in any way. These are basically separate. So here is the actual command that the computer will execute. First, you have the mode select. This well selects the modes. Quite self-explanatory. Uh, it decides between GPU, input and output, and I think this was ALU command, and this was the other one. What was the other one? Well, it's quite important, I'm remembering. It's something very important. Well, anyways, so that is the mode of the actual program. This is the mode argument. So basically, if you're going to do an ALU function, which is the math machine, big calculator thing there, you have to choose what you want to do. Add, subtract, minus these three lines for ALU commands. Chooses the function as subtract, shift left, shift right. Um, or XOR and you don't need to worry about any of those but add and subtract if you're just going to do normal math sums. And this one is invert, which is useful in other programs. You don't need to worry about that either. Then this is the save to. So this is basically the RAM slot to save to. You save the answer. Oh yeah, that reminds me, that was the what the other command one was, which was RAM movements. So basically then these become the RAM to load and this is where you want to save it to. So that's the basically the command system. You can see in the manual how it works in depth. Now you know basically how it works. Okay, so a bit on how the computer works so you understand it better. All the wires from the actual pro program, a command, go into the command manager, as said to by the signs, the command manager. Die sign. Okay, so it basically goes into this thing. Over here it muxes and separates it into the different commands, splits all over the place. This is for the RAM commands, this is for ALU, this one. This one's for GPU commands. And yeah. Input and output is managed here. Lots of mux of files really. Okay. So the RAM kinda looks like this. Now an important rule when switching RAM in my computer is that RAM moves this way. So, basically, if you want to move this RAM to there, they're just going to move that way. One important thing to remember is that, say, you cannot move this slot to there. That does not work. RAM goes like that. And this is not connected to that. So, basically, if you want to go one back, or any amount back, you have to go through the calculator thing. So you need to perform a math sum say add by zero or or it's just the normal way of doing it you go through here and then you s send the number okay these things 
Also RAM slots, RAM slots have as many things. These two are registers, the ALU registers. So the two numbers that you're going to add, subtract, divide, multiply, whatever you want to do with it, they're basically these two. They go into the ALU. So if you want to say, so if you want to do a number, you must save them to RAM 1 and 2. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That many back there. The RAM slots over here are wired to all sorts of functions. This one is wired to the user inputs. So loading from this RAM will load the user inputs, but saving to the RAM will actually change the screen. That big screen you have right there. Then the other four on this side, these four are GPU. So if you're going to do a GPU command, it reads from these lines, the X and Y values. If you read them, you read these ROM statements, which for the example program is Y offsets and... Wait, what is this one again? Add by value distance. You see, that's why signs are very handy. Always use signs. Signs are your friend. Um, basically, this is the massive graphics card. This is actually so epic, it's got its own topic. It really is quite a device. It's actually an exclusive version of the Andex 2 Deluxe using this thing. So anyways, that's the program protocol. A bit on how the LU works. Basically it's a stacked LU, so the commands are above each other. So this is what does adding, this is what does subtracting, this is what does carrying left and right. Car this is XOR, uh, AND and OR are both managed in this form. So those are all the functions. With combining them, you can do many more things. The invert is managed here. Basically, XOR goes with this long, long wire going through it. So basically, the data from the arrays go into here, these two massive towers. It does the sum. Then they come back down here and go into the RAM, like everything else does. Then it comes up all the way around and saves. Okay, so that's basically the explanation. I should be doing a part on how to program it to from the default program to run a graphing program, so thanks for watching.